to get it. I'm on the miss and snap any minute. Casually when it stop tripping on me, stop dissing on me. I got a dream, can't take it from me. My fire's burning, now I'm always learning. Tell me where to go, man. I'm on a journey. I can't explain it. I get excited, keep a 300, King Leonidas. Strap in, cause it's gonna be a long ride. Working on me every single day and night. There comes a time when your worlds will collide. If it's holding you back, push it right to the side. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. I don't got the time. Put me in, coach. I've been going hard. Time to let it show. Everything raw. Give it to me now. Let me have a spot. Man, it's going down. Gotta get it here. I don't want to wait. Take what I want. Then I go train. Gotta get a win. I won't lose the game. This is my year. I ain't gonna break. Strap in, cause it's gonna be a long ride. Working on me every single day and night. There comes a time when your worlds will collide. If it's holding you back, push it right to the side. On another level, I will never settle. Mind over matter, get the gold medal. On another level, I will never settle. Mind over matter, get the gold medal. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. Ain't got no time for no fear. I work too hard to get here. We are live from LA, and I couldn't be more excited because it's Tuesday, and you already know what that means. It's time for another NFL Tuesday Night Gaming. We are grabbing legends from the NFL, and we are putting them on squads, mashing them all up with your favorite content creators all over the gaming world. And we're going to see what happens when we put them in head-to-head -head matchups with two different games. Now, we've been switching up the games a whole bunch. So one of the first things we're going to talk about is what games we're actually playing tonight. Mm. We'll look at the leaderboards. We'll try to see who's going to make it all the way to the finals. I'm very excited for everything that's going to happen tonight, Erin. Yes, absolutely. Okay, first off, last time, bonkers. Completely everything just got switched and swapped. I feel like today we're going to see the same happen. I, I mean, we very much could, right? Because with what you said, everything like kind of switching and the leaderboard getting dramatically shifted, 100% happened, but not by like a lead that is far enough for anybody to feel safe. I, I mean, we have we have ties going on. Pretty much everybody's one point apart. Question is, who's going to come out on top tonight? And when you start to look at the teams, you start to see who's definitely going to have a chance. And look, OTK and Exit are definitely two of the squads that we need to be looking at. Oh, and also 
The rain's not here today, and we're definitely going to be talking more about that. But speaking of the current standings, as you can see, OTK has the number one spot. The rain, both of them are tied for the number one position. Complexity and exit are right around the corners, and you can see these are the top four teams. And Luminosity and Incognito are at the bottom, but it's still not over. Yeah, so the, one of the things that's really interesting uh, about today is going to be who's here, obviously, when you're looking at the scheduling. Now, Luminosity and Incognito are both here tonight. And if you're a top team, if you're the rain, you actually want OTK to come out on top because it's the top four teams that get to go all of the way to the finals. And we're going to give you a full look in case you're just tuning in right now for the first time. You're looking at the format. We'll walk you through everything. We have six teams total, all of them representing a different org in gaming. And every week they get to play two games. And Aaron, each mm -hmm. game is worth one point. You don't need to take yes. all series. Yeah, no, you don't. And it'll eventually add up. In addition to those games that add for points, they also will have a Madden 1v1 showdown, which is just simply for bragging rights and just for entertainment overall. Yeah, it's not going to actually come into effect when we figure out who's going to the playoffs, but it's my favorite part to watch <laughs> every single week. I, I think when you actually talk about, you know, what you want to see here, it's the moments behind the scenes. It's the backstage moments and playing Madden. That's one of the, the looks into that. You actually get to see how everybody's getting along, but we're going to give you an even deeper look at everything that's been happening behind the scenes and how everybody's been getting to know each other. As we actually start to look at these behind the scene moments too, I think it's very obvious why that Madden portion of the show is so great. Cause we get so many team listen-ins and we get to hear all of these people sometimes meeting each other for the first time. Also another thing too that I really love about it is that yes, of course there are people who are keyboard and mouse, but we also give love to console gamers as well. Sometimes that shine doesn't always happen. Yeah, definitely true. And also we gotta give love for everybody behind the scenes. You know, the show like this, it's great to get everybody in the same place and get to see your content creators with NFL Legends. But this show wouldn't happen without the faces that you're seeing on the screen right now who actually get everybody here. Make sure that the cameras are, are going to your house wherever you're watching the show and really do appreciate everybody who makes the show a reality. Also, I got to say the style game from us broadcasters has been leveling up with each episode. I see you over there with that fit earlier. Also, we had Avali and Guy Blaze above looking fresh to death. I just, I just love it. it it shows all of our unique styles. To, to, to be honest, the first two weeks of the show, I didn't have <laughs> any of my clothes from New York. I had to get them all over for, like to LA from yeah. New York. And now my life feels normal again. It, it was, <laughs> it, I, 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 I don't mean to throw any disrespect to any city, but there is no city in the world where it is good to shop as New York. It's oh just the my best gosh, place to Yes. The world. I, I, I mean, I know I can talk to you yeah, about this. We, are, we met in New York. We are, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, there are some people in the back. You know, we love everybody in the back, but there are some <sighs> people from Boston behind us. Oh, 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 we can't talk about Boston over Nobody's here. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> no, it's perfect. But in, in addition to style, we were able to see a lot of personalities from people's favorite NFL players, legends, and content creators, and putting them in environments and games that they're not used to. And it's funny because, you know, you see some creators who are known for other genres like FPSs, and then they're excelling in Rocket League. And then you see people who are like Andre Reid, who are just killing it in Madden. Yeah, but also, you know, bring up Andre Reid people are starting to come back. Yes. And we're starting to get to get know them even more, which is awesome. Like a lot of the people from the NFL are just having a great time being like, all right, let me come back. Let, yeah. Let's do this again. <laughs> try, to, try to come out, maybe get some more points yeah. for whichever squad they're playing for. So seeing that and getting to know them better and getting to see which content creators they really vibe with, uh, it's my favorite part of the show. So I'm looking forward to Madden, but I am also looking forward to figuring out who's going to make it to the playoffs. You did a really good job at illustrating, you know, just how crazy tonight can be. Yes. And a lot of that comes down to the scheduling, right? And uh, we kind of went back and forth discussing this last week, but yeah. the idea of the teams that are lower right now in the standings, yeah. they can just demolish everything, right? If they come out and they have a really good performance, it shifts the leaderboard and a team like the rain who's not here tonight yeah they don't want the teams that are lower than them doing well because we could have like we could have a six-way tie still it is still possible to have a six-way tie yeah i know at the end of the day complexity in the rain will want otk and xset to get 2-0 yeah. so then the positions don't change too much for them to be dropped down for, but for everyone who's tuning in who might have missed the last time well let's take a look at the hulu play of the game
Hey, yeah, we're talking about all of the great <laughs> moments, and now we're going to get to see one of them on the screen with the Hulu play of the game. And of course, it is going to be from that Madden showcase match, the very last thing that we get to see every single Tuesday night. Talk to me about what happened. Well, first off, the format for this Madden showdown was different from what we're used to. We typically will do 1v1 showdowns, but this time it was 2v2. And it was quite interesting to see, as you can see, yeah. the it Studio personalities. We also had uh, all four competitors. They were right here on one side, on the other. And it was fascinating because you had Smash and Dash, the legendary running backs over here. And then you had uh, old school and new school Hall of Famer, newer player. And it's so fascinating to see the dynamics of them just as teammates competing and just overall. Yeah, it, it's really great to, to get all the NFL legends in one place. But I do want to talk about the NFL just for a second and give them a big shout out because the NFL is committed to salute to service. The year round effort by the NFL and its military partners to honor, empower, and connect with our nation's service members, veterans, and their families. At this time each year, the NFL reinforces their support and gratitude for those who have served and to those who continue to serve. It takes all of us to honor, empower, and connect with our military community. Visit NFL.com slash salute to learn about the NFL's impact with its salute to service partners so yes. yeah, definitely check that out everybody at home and a, a big shout out to the nfl for you know putting on an event like this and, and also for everything that they do yeah absolutely and, and you know speaking of the nfl we're getting closer to the super bowl that's crazy the super bowl is almost right around the corner and we only have like what four five maybe leading uh, of these shows left leading into the super bowl that's crazy it's crazy how fast it all went by and it's also crazy how good the matchups are going to be yes. tonight so let's take a look at what the matches are actually going to look like tonight and then we'll talk about what we think is going to happen <laughs> All right, taking our first look at the teams. We talked about the organizations that wrapped them up. We talked about the leaderboard, but we're going to be starting off with one of the teams that is a little bit lower on the totem pole right now with Incognito. Yes, and Incognito have a chance to go up if they beat X. Now, Exet's in a very unique position because they're not fully down. I believe they're in fourth place. So if they get that 2-0, they'll be able to go up the leaderboard and stay in a comfortable position, at least for now. Now, talk to me about Exet a little bit. Obviously, this is your award. Yeah. You're going to know a little bit behind the scenes. And as we're looking at the other teams, talk to me about Exet just a little bit. Yeah, so for Exet, we have Gaku. He is one of uh, an amazing content creator. He typically plays uh, FPSs, more specifically Warzone and Call of Duty. However, he's very unique. He's very open to try other games and also he is a great fundraiser charity fundraiser he actually raised over ten thousand dollars for children in hospitals through gamers outreach wow mm -hmm. that, that, that is a remarkable thing to hear and also we're gonna need to talk about the games right yes. that are gonna be happening tonight really quick do you want to touch upon it we're gonna wrap up tonight with lg and otk and on the otk side i will say i joked about it last week i <laughs> joked about s fan being the person that we were sending with actually no knowledge whether or not that was true it is as S fan is here and uh, S fan has proven very good at a lot of the games that are happening tonight. We're going to have to talk about whether or not you feel the same way about Exit because yeah. it is shifting again. We have a pool of games, so pretty much every single week, you know, we have the ability to, to add that dash of spice. Mm -hmm. And this week, we are going to be doing Rocket League and we're going to be doing Fall Guys. So when you talk about Godku, yes. talking about shooters, how do you think? Godku's going to fare with these games. Honestly, you know, I got I should have asked Godku, what are some other games that you play? Because even yeah. though he streams the games, it doesn't mean that he doesn't play the other ones. We saw that with Symphony and TP last time, where they're known for being so exactly. proficient in FPSs, but they were killing it in Rocket League. And, and that's, I think you said that Symphony plays Rocket League on the side, or used so to, he, right? I think he used to a whole bunch, okay. was what he was saying. And then uh, TP was doing it back when him and I were working at, on Call of Duty on the actual desk together. So, uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely a, a very true thing. Just because they don't stream it doesn't mean they don't play it. S fan yesterday was streaming himself digging a hole. So, uh, you know, they, they stream a whole bunch of stuff. Doesn't necessarily mean it's their main game. Yeah. Although I will say S fan did a fantastic job digging that hole. It took about 30 streamers, but the thing ended up being about six feet deep. So we almost hit one gas pipe, but beyond that, everything's fine. Listen, S fan's competitor of the creator side for Luminosity is Jenny Smiles. And her fun fact is that she broke a girl's arm during jujitsu 
class. So she is uh, very strong and competitive, it seems like. Well, S-Fan broke his own arm last time he did an IRL stream in Korea. So you know, <laughs> maybe that gives him a little oh, bit of a buff since he could just break <laughs> his arm by himself. Yeah, I will never forget that. It was like right before... I think it was right before Burning Crusade came out, which is obviously one of S-Fan's favorite games. And he went up to one of those boxing mach yeah. machines and he just, just punched the plastic, broke his whole hand. Oh my God. Next day he was playing World of Warcraft with that hand in the cast. He that. never quits. He's always down to play games. So if for some reason Jenny breaks <laughs> S-Fan's hand, he'll be good to go. He's got some tolerance with the breakage. He'll still be able to play the game. But obviously the first series up, Incognito versus Xset. This is gonna be huge for Xset. Yes. Xset can pull ahead. They they can end up getting first place off of this. Yeah. They pull down both of them. They might not be able to keep it the whole night. The fate not entirely in Xset's hands, depending on how OTK does. But Incognito can just throw a spanner in the works for absolutely everybody. Yeah, also another thing too is that there are some NFL players that are really, really good and they're secretly really good. We've seen it before. Sometimes they downplay their gameplay uh, and sometimes they're known for their gameplay. And with Kurt, Kurt is actually a pro football player and also a pro gamer with Space yeah. Station gaming and so uh, he streams a lot he's one of those nfl players that constantly streams on top of obviously competing on the field so it's not going to be an easy competition for xset i'm a big fan of space station gaming by the way as me well me too yeah. me too shout out to atomic mary as well one of my good friends if you guys remember smosh era she was part of that there you go. yeah now she's in esports she is uh part of the co-ownership uh, co-ownership group uh for space Station. yeah gaming. and they've been involved in a lot of different esports which yeah. is always the thing for me as somebody who's you know we both both been around esports forever now yeah. at this point and when i see orgs willing to get into a lot of different games yeah. and some of the games that you know maybe you don't see orgs in as much like like world of warcraft yeah. esports things like that uh, it always means a lot to me uh for what they do for the entire scene and their their support definitely does go noticed and i definitely big shout out to them and yes. i do want to point out with team incognito mm -hmm. this is the second time ever where we have a team, I, I believe it's the second time ever that we have a team that e even though, you know, in, in their right, the NFL player is still going to be yeah. somebody who, who is a professional gamer. This is a full NFL legend team. So that's only happened two times. Ooh, yeah. So we get to see that again tonight, but to get it all started, we're gonna jump up to our casters and get that first series underway. I'm giving you all I got. So sit back, enjoy and watch. I'm a rebel with purpose. Yeah, I said it on purpose. Turn me up if you heard this. I said turn me up if you heard this. Get him up! I'm willing to do what they wanna do. What they wanna do? I'm willing to say what they wanna say. But what about you? I said what about you? What about you? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I'm willing to do what they wanna do. What they wanna do? I'm willing to say what they wanna say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Blaze and Avali here, your fantastic casters for Tuesday Night Gaming, as we have four more of our squads who are about to battle it out with uh, our content creators and our NFL players out there. And we are curious, what are we going to see this week? I'm super excited because if you look out the door right now in California and LA especially, Ooh. it is raining, pouring Pouring cats and dogs, which means it is the perfect weather to stay inside and either play or watch some video games. So that's what we've got for today for Tuesday Night Gaming. We've got Rocket League, Fall Guys. It's going to be a good time. I did not want to get out of bed this morning, okay? You know, I looked outside, and then I missed the blood moon. Okay, it was the moon was red this morning and I missed it because I didn't go to bed on time. Yeah, blood moon rising. All of our enemies have been, uh, what is it, resurrected. So mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting. And we got some um, other NFL players who have been on the show that has been resurrected as well. I know we had KJ Osborne on here once before. We have, we have had S-Fan on the show as well. And actually, they may be the only two that we've had here before. MMG is coming back. Um, uh, but you guys will see him a little bit later for something else. We won't get too into that. But nonetheless, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And as Rich mentioned before, you know, we also got a team out there that's comprised of NFL players. Once again, that's Incognito uh, as their resident gamer is going to um, be Kurt. And so... Mm -hmm. 
when it comes down to it, Aaron said, yo, hey, you know, he signed, he plays for Space Station, you know, he, he got it on the field and off the field, but we'll see if the quarterback can IGL his teammates to victory. Yeah, Space Station Gaming, they have a lot of great rosters, uh, great roster with Rocket League, as mm -hmm. well as, I believe, Rainbow Six, and now for NFL's Tuesday Night Gaming, but it sounds like Rich is down there, who is ready to uh, introduce the two teams that we're going to see play today. Rich? And this first one instantly is gonna have very high stakes. We're looking at two squads that can change our entire leaderboard. The question is, who is going to come out on top? The first team that we're gonna welcome to the stage is the team that really can throw a spanner in the works. They are the underdog coming into this. Let's introduce Team Incognito. excited for this one and I'm excited because we get to talk to Kurt before we jump into the matchup and very accomplished athlete and gamer but we got to start talking about the games that we're playing tonight Kurt we're going to be starting off with Rocket League and then from there we're going into Fall Guys what's your experience like with these two titles look these are these are not my titles but I'm ready to show up ready to play um, I think we're going to be a competitive team and we're going to have a lot of grit tonight See, the, the thing is, is usually when we ask the Rocket League question, the Fall Guys question, everybody leads with, these are not necessarily my titles. The question that I have for you is in Rocket League, what's your, what's your strategy going to be? Because it, it is very much a game where even if it was your title, you need the whole team to be able to pull it off. Have you guys been able to practice at all? Or are you kind of going in and figuring it out as you actually we're, get we're, down? We're going to show up on game day and show what we're all about. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to have a lot of communication. We're going to have good comms. We're going to have crosses, play good defense. We're going to be a complete team today. It's going to be a, a quick turnaround to get us on the fall, guys. Do you think you're going to end up taking that role as the in-game leader for your squad? Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of been a thing, and I... I wouldn't be shocked if it ends up playing out like that. All right, well, I'm going to be very excited if we actually get to listen in a little bit, maybe hear some of your team comps. Thank you for the interview. I'm going to let you get ready for the matchup. I'm very excited for this one. We will see you in just a I'll few seconds. And now with that, we're going to introduce the team that Kurt and Incognito is going to be playing up against. We mentioned that Incognito is the underdog. But when we look at Xset, they have a very, very important goal for that squad. And that's going to be grabbing these points because if they do, they can leapfrog the tie for first place. If not, they potentially fall behind OTK, who can grab points here tonight. Folks, when we do welcome this next team onto the stage, you need to be thinking about the fact that this could be the team that enters in the top spot when we get to playoffs, which are very fast approaching. Folks, the team that we're welcoming onto the stage is Exet. My friend, God Q, welcome. So, you got a very, very project. Go right ahead. This is your stage. This is your stage. Very important goal. You can come out here and get Xset in first place if you're able to take both of these games. That's the goal. That's what we need. Talk to me, though. Xset, where you rep out here. Shout out, man. We love Xset. We're coming to take first place. I mean, it's it, we have to. We have to. I mean, it's what we do. I'm a gamer. I'm competitive. And, I mean, I, I won't lie. I don't play a lot of... Rocket League and Fortnite, I mean, uh, uh, Fall Guys, okay. but... 
Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah that, that's important. Yeah, it's important to stretch before you actually oh, get oh, it. I'm back there stretching. Oh, Wow, okay, that's a very important thing to know. I, I definitely know Incognito is going to be trembling a little bit when they hear that, but the, you obviously have more experience when it comes to games outside of these, for Rocket League in particular. Had you ever really gotten a chance to play at, at a high level or maybe just, like, warm up a little bit? No high level, but I, I've played it. A lot of my friends play it. You know, I've, I've had a couple casual games, but... Yeah. Nothing crazy, but like I said, it's instincts out here. Instincts for the W, so I'll pull it out. Instincts, very important, especially when you get to Fall Guys. And I, I think one of the things that we've seen time and time again, when we actually play Fall Guys, one player can clutch up. Do you think you can be that player? I mean, I love jelly beans. And I'll tell you this, I'll clutch up for Exa, man. We got this. My teammates, Bobby and Z, we're gonna, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. There you go, you heard it. Come from on. Exit themselves. Are they going to be able to come out in first place? We find out right now as we jump up to the casters and get ready for our first series of the night. I'm loving all the swag, okay, that Gaku's coming out here uh, with on the main stage, trying to get it done for Exet. Hey, we'll see if he can. I need to figure out where he got that sweater from, all right? Because he is he's drippy today. I mean, he said it. It's instincts. He had the instincts uh, whenever he's playing games, and he had the instincts when he was dressing himself this mm -hmm. morning. He's got the hat on. He's got the ponytail. He's got the full swag with that colorful sweater. And uh, if he can play as well as he dresses himself today, then I think that Exit are on the right path. And, and also a man with a heart of gold, always out there raising money for gamers outreach. And if you know me, it's a charity close to my heart. So much love to him as well, doing some good for the kids. But he's going to have to do it for the kids of Exit set here today because Rich was already talking. OTK, are we going to be in first place at the end of the day? Are we going to break this tie? Him and Aaron been going back and forth. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot in our two series today for OTK and XSET. Yeah, definitely a lot of points on the line. But before XSET can focus on OTK, they're going to have to focus on their opponents for Incognito. Yep. Now, that being said, I'm not trying to be too much of a Debbie Downer, but the last time that we had an NFL player-led team, mm. it did not go very well. Well, yeah, you know, sometimes you, you, you need that gamer that's through and through, not the gamer that's been splitting his hours between the professional football league and online, but the gamer who league was online as he was growing up, the gamer that is ready for any given situation that is thrown at him. Sometimes you got that guy on your team. He may get some rounds for you, come up with some winning strategies, adapt quickly. But we'll see what Kirk can do because the quarterback himself, he will see if he got what it takes to, to get the Griffin twins on the same page as we're kicking off Rocket League. It's Incognito going up against Exet. Now, as far as the skill of our players when it comes down to Rocket League, we're about to find out how good they are. As you will see, Kirk just barely missed that one, but I'm loving his dribbling. Oh, no. He was right there. Yeah, Kurt just missing it. And for those uh, just tuning in, as a reminder, this is a best of five match. We are going to be playing up to three. And of course, either whoever has the most amount of points when that clock hits zero or the first person to th score three goals on their side will take the match, will take the game rather. And oh, there's another shot on goal. And it's going to be Kurt finding the first goal. Let's go ahead and jump into comms so we can hear how the players are celebrating. Like that. <laughs> We're just built like that. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, they're hit. They're hit. Oh, no. He bumped me. He bumped me. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Get back in there. No, 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 no. Made it. Oh no, 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 you popped it! Ah, get it. Stop. Hit it! Let's go! Let's go! Too easy! Too easy! Too easy! Come on now! Too easy, baby! How we doing? Yes, sir! Alright, you guys gotta speed and hit this. Yep. Go! Here yeah, we go! Too easy, too easy. Too easy. I'm a... Get it to me! Get it to me! Get it to me! I got it! I said it! I said it! I said it! I said it. Get it back. 
Get it back. Get it in there! Ah, what a work, baby! Let's go! What a work, baby! Come on, man. Where the work, baby? English, baby. Teamwork, back the dream. Two minutes. <laughs> Run it up. You heard Kurt. He said, we're gamers, baby. We got it done in two minutes, okay? Uh, they were vibing on the comms, but I can tell you this. Kurt, he's a shark. Oh. He's a, yeah, yeah, he's a shark. I can tell you by that interview with Rich, he was trying to play it all cool and casual. Like, oh, man, we're going to do our best. We're going to show what we made of a game day. We got it. And I got to be honest, I didn't think he had it. But watching his movement on Rocket League right there, watching him score all those goals and lead his squad with the vibes and the comms, the quarterback got it. What I say, Space Station Gaming, they've got their Rocket League squad, a coveted Rocket League squad at that. They've yep. won so many different tournaments. You know that some of that Rocket League skill and prowess is going to be rubbing off on their players. And yes, yep. Kurt with those two goals, and of course, Shaquem with that second one to back mm -hmm, him up. Mm -hmm. It's a full team effort, and everyone is pitching in for that win. Yeah, and, and you can hear the twins over there, the Griffin twins, super excited. Uh, Shaquem and Shaquille, you know, they are... You know, oh, they already scored to start. We missed a goal. Yeah, it looks like Shaquem okay. just right off of kickoff, I want to say. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely no one goes for the save. Kurt, just in case with that follow-up. But immediately a goal off the kickoff, meaning just two more goals for Team Incognito to take this second win of the day. Rock and roll Space Station gaming skins in the shop as well. Make sure you go get yours. Let's little hop in on the team speak and see what our squads are talking about. Too high, too high. Mm. Down the sideline, baby. Take that down the sideline. Yeah. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Ah. Oh, shit. Ah. Come get on, baby. Get, the sticks. get these kids off the sticks. Come on, baby. Come on, no. Let them finish. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got this one. I'm going to get some boost. Get a kill. They hit. Yep. They come back to us. I get it. Too easy. Come on. Oh. Okay. What's up? What's up? Oh, he hit it just yeah. barely. I'll get some boost. Oh, no, they. Get it in there! Ooh, we almost had it. Back it up. Yeah. Uh. Oh, no! I had it! I had it, I had it, I had it. Uh. Baby. Oh no! I got it. Get out! Get out of there! Get out of there! Oh, he ain't good enough. Ah, oh, missed the ball. That's in. That's in. That's in. That's in. That's in. <laughs> Deep. Let's go. Look at cross map. Oh, Too easy. What a hit! Yes, sir. My God. It's free! What a game. What a freaking game! What a game indeed there as it's another clean sweep in, in set number two of our best of five set series here in our Rocket League competition. And so we even see their speed kills. Okay, all right. Shaquille coming up with a goal as well. So the entire team is scoring, the entire team is vibing. 
And I think when it comes down to the representatives of the all NFL squads, this may be one of the best ones we've had on the show. Oh, it's hype. Shaquem got a goal. Shaquille got a goal. Kurt ended that round with the goal. Everyone throwing it in. A and snipe. something that I want to point out is that we listened to both Xset's comm at the beginning and followed up with Incognitos. And Xset, just quiet, nothing to say. Sure, a little bit of game conversation. And there you go. You see it right there. Aziz picking up the first goal for Xset. Godku, he's popping off. Easy Aziz. We'll get this one off to start. Let's see if that gets X set a little bit more momentum. Let's dive into the comms. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I got it, got it out. Good shit, good shit. Can you tell it? It blew, my, it blew me up. It's in the air right now, like midfield. Oh, I just missed it. Oh. I'll go, one more, let's go. We're all good. Oh, we good, we good, we good. Yeah, they got the air, they, they're jumping, they're timing it. Yeah, they timing it right. Perfect. Yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get my timing down. This is it, baby. This is it. Oh no. Oh, it's a goal right here. Oh. Gotta take off. Ah, I don't have any boost. Oh no. Oh, I messed up. Get it back. Go ahead, get it there. Get it there. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah, okay. get it back. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh. Ah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got it. Here we go, here we go. You got it, you got it, you got it! Oh. <laughs> Slow down. Okay, we got this. We got this. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good save. I'm excited, baby. Come on, let the bus. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, two push. Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, oh, we hit that. Uh, oh, man. Good. 
Ah, no. I'll go 2-2, two, two, baby. This is it. Man, this, this game is getting sweaty out here. Let's go, All bro. right, let's go. Ah, uh, here it is, baby. Here it is. Let's go, boys. I got it. And I put somebody else. Easy. What a what a shot. What a shot. What a shot. <laughs> yes, Let's go. And Incognito comes out on top with a three to zero victory. As you can tell, speed kills, and he definitely kills with that last game winning shot there. Man, we saw we saw a lot of uh, skill over there on the side of Incognito. They have finally showed up. Yeah, oh my gosh, Shaquille with that final goal, you saw the pop off on camera. He mm -hmm. stood up, he's screaming because he was the one, he didn't find a goal in the first game. So we're yeah. wondering, okay, is this just gonna be a Kurt and Shaquille kind yeah. of show? Is it only one twin as good? Mm -mm, absolutely not, because the other one came out to play. But again, that third and final game of that first series actually got pretty close. It did, with the it did, to the wire. You know, we uh, we saw the single goal from God, who I think it was goal number two because they got one early on off mm -hmm. the start. Aziz. And, yep, Aziz got one and then Kaku the, 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 the bank off the left side of the wall the dash into the score but they just couldn't get that final third goal nonetheless it ended on a very great set but it's Incognito who takes the series. Absolutely so that means that they are putting a point on their board which is going to help them climb that point ladder mm -hmm. up in the standing yep. so great start for them for the day and as a reminder they still do have the second game of Fall Guys to Correct. get through. So just because they took the first game doesn't mean that taking the second game is going to be that easy. But that being said, they are building up that momentum. They are, okay? And so with Fall Guys, it'll be an entirely new series, uh, a best of five set. And we're going to be playing um, hexagonal, hexaterrestrial, and hexa something. All the hexes. All Look the at hexes, the shape of my okay? glasses. This is what they're going Hex to be jumping on, okay? Right from hexagon. Out out. Hexagon. Boop. Boop, all of the jelly beans <laughs> everywhere. But again, I mean, listen, playing soccer with mm -hmm. rocket-powered cars is a little bit different than running around a small little she jelly bean. She got a point, okay? You know, Fall Guys, a completely different skill set. And, you know, you don't have to be the fastest car out there. It's going to come down to strategy, okay? Paying attention to your opponent. Uh, you know, not getting too ahead of yourself. How good is your focus? Now, some of those skill sets may work out in Rocket League as well, but Fall Guys, you got to be experts with them and we'll see how composed our squads will be because we've seen some interesting fall guy finishes um, but you know X set if I'm not mistaken I think God cool off the start said he didn't know how good he was going to be at fall guy so we'll see if he can adapt a little bit quicker absolutely but something that we shouldn't uh, just kind of like write off immediately just since we saw this 3-0 sweep mm -hmm. but Rocket League is a very mechanically intensive game uh, so I'm pretty sure that all of our gamers that we've See, yep. because they've been scoring goals left and right, they're going to have some sort of mechanics. So yeah, I they bet are. that they will also translate to Fall Guys. They, they definitely will translate, okay? But, hey, Rocket League is done. And as we get set up for Fall Guys, let's toss it down to Rich and get a little interview and, and see how that uh, first series was for our contestants. Yeah, very excited to actually be chatting with the squad because what happened now, you have to keep in mind, this did affect the leaderboard <laughs> in a big way. Exit had a chance to potentially leapfrog another team if they got both of these wins. That's not going to happen now. But gentlemen, let's actually talk about what happened because going into that initial game, all that we heard was, you know, maybe Rocket League's not going to be our game. Maybe we don't have practice, but it didn't look like that at all, getting a full sweep for the team. Yeah, man, listen... Uh, we we came in with a game plan. We was well prepared. Everybody was communicative, and I mean, once you go in the game with a good game plan, ain't nothing somebody can do. Uh, they say get the ball in the air, pass it, get to the middle, and let's take shots. And that's what we did coming in each and every game. It was like a well-oiled machine. You're talking about the team communication. We can see it very clearly. Now, when you're going into Fall Guys, uh, what are you guys planning on doing? You talk about having a game plan in Rocket League. What's your game plan going into Fall Guys? I mean, I, I, our best bet is to, to, to stay communicating as a team because it's going to be first timers for for uh, some of us. And we got to work together, man. We got to get this dub. We got to compete by any means necessary. And that's the mindset that we have. 
Keep in mind, too, for Incognito, going into this one, a little bit lower on the leaderboard. You're leapfrogging other teams. If you manage to get another win, you, you might really shake up the leaderboard. Does that feel good? Yeah, that feels good. Man, we feel like the champs over here. Listen, they coming to play us. You better come ready. You better come prepared because we stay ready. So we don't got to get ready. All right, well, I'm wishing you the best of luck in the next series, and you get to hear it from Incognito. They're coming out with the champion mindset, and the question is, as we jump into the next game, are they going to get to redefine the leaderboard? Are they going to hold Xset back and potentially change the four teams that make it all the way through to the playoffs? We're going to find out as soon as Fall Guys get started, which is going to be just around the corner. Man, if Incognito can get two points on the board after the performance they've had these last few weeks, Rich, has, Rich said it best. They can shake up these standings in a big way. Mm -hmm, absolutely. There's going to be ties left and right. All of our teams that we had at the bottom are going to be rising to the top. All the ones at the top are going to be slowly on that drop. So many different things mm -hmm. can be happening here, guys. Yeah, it, it's like the, the the cream rising to the top, okay? You know, or, you know, if you got like a, maybe like an oil sauce and emulsification, it splits or something like that. Nonetheless, you always got the good stuff on top. That's usually the fat, okay? Because fat is flavor at the end of the day. You know that? Yeah, speaking of good stuff rising to the top, we are about to get into Fall Guys, which means that we have so many different jelly beans. But before we get into that, we were actually able to speak with one of our players before the day started. Let's take a listen. What is up, you guys? I am Exit Gaku here on TNG to have a good time and uh, hopefully score some points for Exit. Favorite NFL moment, I won't lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come off as oh, maybe a little hater right here, but early on when Tom Brady um, was, was doing his thing and uh, it was he was going against the Giants in the Super Bowl, and I just for some reason did not like Tom Brady. I love him now, he's, like, he's, he's a GOAT, I love him. But at the moment, at the time, I did not like him. And when he threw that, or when Eli threw that play to, I think it's like Tyree, David Tyree, I think, and he caught it just like, Literally like this, I I went freaking out. Cause I, I, at first I was like, oh, it's over guys. Patriots winning again. And then that happened. And I just was like hype. So I always go back to that, even though I don't win like the Giants or the Patriots, but that moment has always just stuck in my brain. Man, that's really hard. Um, could it be someone who's not here anymore? I'd say Sean Taylor. RIP, um, he was one of my favorites growing up and uh, you know, I, I have a big respect for uh, you know our, our lost ones. I think uh, I'd, I'd pick him. I think. Ooh. Um, Monday night broadcaster. Hit me up, NFL. I have not actually. I played a lot of baseball and was really good, and only played baseball because I was I was too good at it. And I wish I wish I played football. I was. Now at the end, I I like love the style of it. I love like I now I know about it. I, I wish that I would have grown up playing it, but we are who we are now. Physical athlete, um, I'm pretty competitive. I won't lie, I'm pretty competitive, and uh, I believe that like mental power is, is strength, and you can get through anything. So I, I'd say I'm a, a nine. J for Jack. J Kids. Listen to God cool, okay? When it comes down to sports, make sure you play sports in high school if you can, okay? If you got an opportunity, you got something you love, just dedicate yourself to it. And the reason why I say that is because you may not ever get another chance once you're out of high school, all right? He wished he played football, okay? But he, he did play something. He was, in, he was in baseball. But if you guys were thinking about it, man, should I play football? Should I play baseball? Should I play basketball? Do it. Do you play you sports? regret it. I didn't, I didn't want to, but my Xbox got red ringed and it took me three months to send it in. And it's actually the craziest story in the world because I remember going to football practice and we had two a days and I came out of that. I remember telling my cousin, I was like, I ain't doing this ever again. I said, forget that. I'm going home and playing video games. I got online, put my headset on, you know, was talking to my team. And I was like, hey, man, y'all. I said, man, forget this football stuff. I said, get the GBs, okay? We playing GBs all fall. The next day, E74 era, Red Ring of Death, Xbox broke for three months, and it came back 
my last playoff game that I lost. I remember I was limping up the stairs. I had my ankles taped up. I was like, man, what a great season it was. And it was a box on my doorstep. And I hopped on Perfect Dark Zero and I had the time of my life and it was history. Oh. But I had to play football that season. I was meant to play football that season and mm -hmm. I don't regret it. So I put the games up, you know, and I had a season of a lifetime. Mm. Yeah, I played uh, soccer growing up uh, from, you know, when you're like little, what is it called, peewee? Mm -hmm, you're just mm -hmm, a tiny mm -hmm. little thing, yep, the ball's bigger than your face. Yep. Yeah, I didn't touch competitive, I didn't touch any of the JV or varsity stuff because I was, uh, you know, not good enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did that and I did track and field Ooh. where I did hurdles. You look like a good hurdler. That's just because I'm tall. You're just saying you that because I can step over the hurdles. You can, can you run? No. No, you can't, no. Can, can you got a leap on you? No, they just wanted me because I was tall and I could literally step over the hurdles. <laughs> so I'm like, we had a group of maybe six girls and I was the third fastest uh -huh. because one of the other girls twisted her ankle so she could not participate anymore. Oh, okay, but that three. being said, yeah, man, it was school mandated. I couldn't just, you know, go home and play video games in order to graduate. Oh, you like, had to play a you sport. You had to either play in a sport or compete in like the speech and debate. Well, you know what? You need to go back to that school and say, hey, I love what you're doing, getting kids active, but can we come up with like an esports? like organization or department Oh, or I tried. I tried, man. I had the librarians yelling at me, but hey, I think now we're going to be yelling know? at some jelly beans because we are getting into our first round of Fall Guys. This is going to be a two round per game best of three series. Let's go ahead and jump into the team comms and hear what our players have to say. Oh, qualified. <laughs> you fell off. I fell off. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. Did, did the did the other team fall off too? Yeah. So we won. Going two. Oh shoot. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> All right, we gotta survive. We gotta survive. I feel I kinda, a lot better than another person. Take, I kinda just take my own route. Better. Everybody kinda run next to each other. I kinda take my own route. And if I see you, I see you. I, it, it's okay. been working. So this is the final round. It's basically like levels, and you just gotta try to stay on your level as long as possible. And if you fall, you're gonna fall to a lower level, then do the same shit. Okay, so I gotta stay at the top. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Yep. Try to stay up as long as you can. But also, like, if you get to a lower level than the other people, you wanna kinda start breaking this shit down, too. Okay. I'm gonna start down here. Here, I'll, you stay on the other side, I'll stay on this side. We can kinda just, like, go back and forth. Here we go. Hey, how do y'all jump? I didn't know how they jump. Uh, with with uh, X, if you use the Xbox controller. Oh, 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 uh, oh no, no. Yeah, I see you down there, King. I'm gonna work, old boy. Yeah, get old boy. Go get him, King. Go get him, man. Work, old boy. Ain't gonna have much left, son. Ain't gonna have much left, son. No, that's lying. Oh my God, this is so stressful with only four people in this. I ain't gonna lie, I'm watching you in this. <laughs> Bro, it's so watch. stressful. I'm no! Oh my god, no, 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 no. What just happened? I just slipped through like two levels. I dropped him down too. I think this might be the last one underneath of us, so at some point we're gonna wanna like kinda bust it I'm down. Still at oh, you're up top? Uh, oh, oh no! No! no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> ah. Ah. It's soon, soon we're gonna. Ah. Once this other dude jumps down. All right, drop down, drop down, drop down. We can start, ah. we can start busting this off and you stay up as long as you can. 
Oh no, I had to jump down! <laughs> hey, <dude. laughs> cut him off, Keith, cut him off! Ah. Get him out of there! Cut him off, Get him I'm out of there! <laughs> Get him out of there! Ah. Ah. You're still alive. Keep Is it just Keep me and you? Going. Yes. Oh, bet wait, we're done. On. I think we're done. I think wait. Uh, one? one of us is gonna win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're chilling. Oh yeah, I think we should rock yeah, it out. You, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. It's a we celebration laugh. We just won. Did you yeah. win? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> People across the board. Okay, rookie. Mm -mm -mm. Coming out on top. That was that had to be one of the competitive games that we've seen uh, uh, of Hexagon. There, yeah, well, one of the Hexagons, uh, you know, Hex of Hex or something. I just thought that it was so wholesome how at the beginning of the game, Kurt is basically explaining like, okay, this is how this stage Extra works. jump you here and make there. Make sure that you're on, you don't fall off, and really trying to explain some strategy at the same time is, listen, we have multiple mm -hmm. layers going, so if I'm dropping through, you want to make sure that you stay on the top as long as possible so really great teamwork and you know it, it, it seemed like his teammate was one of his first times of, of playing it you know mm -hmm. in a long time I think that was uh Shaquem and you know when it came Shaquem when it came down to it he was the MVP okay yeah. he stayed up there as long as anyone else all right and uh he had he got the strategy down pat once he figured out how to jump you know the you can kind of tell in his comms every single jump he was locked into it he was in the game okay yeah, and Shaquille as well, just because he got knocked out in that first game doesn't mean that he couldn't contribute in the second mm -hmm. one. He was helping out with a lot of that shot calling. He was helping with the hype man, yep, kind of yep, like bringing yep. up the spirits, uh, which again, just made everything fit so well for Team Incognito. But now on the other hand, when we look at Team X set, mm -hmm. well, in the earlier games of Rocket League, we didn't hear a lot of communication coming out from yeah, them as yeah. a team. So I'm really hoping that now that they had a couple games under their belt and now that they are entering potentially the final game that they will be playing today that they've really upped the communication and some of that encouragement to help them pull off this comeback win for fall guys now for our rocket league game it was a best of five okay where you had to win three sets well it's a best of three here where you got to win two sets and incognito one set away from having that 2-0 victory up against x set so i'll be excited to kind of hop into the team comms earlier here on x set to see you know know how they talk and what they're gonna be doing um over here in the second game of the set but hey I, they are adaptable okay they have been getting better after you know each set that they had in rocket league maybe this is gonna be the one where they come up with a strategy mm -hmm. absolutely and strategy I think that works that, yeah strategy that works that's yeah, the yeah, very right they had strategy but strategy that works yeah and i feel like if god can really kind of pull himself in front as kind of like the team leader and mm -hmm. the you know he is the gamer for this yep. week for his squad like we have seen the 1v3s and fall guys before. yeah we have so godku definitely has that opportunity to literally put both of his jelly beans on his bag and carry them throughout hexaterrestrial hexagon and of course hexa go round the question is will it happen yeah will it happen okay um i'm you know, it's a good chance, okay? If it's gonna be any game that we get in our set, it's gonna be Fall Guys here uh, for X set. But hopefully when we hop into their comms, I want more chatter. I want more chatter, I want more On the vibes. Side of X set? Yeah, because I feel like we, we got a little bit towards in that Rocket League game as they were starting to vibe out and get there. But now their back's up against the wall. Mm -hmm. They gotta come full throttle. Um, but yeah, man, so far so good. Uh, you know, when it went to, when we was on Hexago round, that was probably the fastest Hexago round we've, we've ever seen to, to kind of kick it off there. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see if we start on Hexago round again. It's very confusing to a lot of newer players because mm -hmm. not only do you have to focus on the fact that the hexagons are dropping underneath you, but also the fact that it starts to spin. And at the beginning, if you are not on the side uh, that is, you know, kind of like spinning this way, if you're mm -hmm. stuck on this side, you're immediately going to drop because yeah. you don't you don't understand that you need to maintain kind of like on that top but actually we have some highlights from last week's show that we could take a look at just to maybe inspire some great gameplay for our players for the upcoming match
basically rooting for Incognito right now to take down the gamers on the other side there of Xset. So, Gaku, the ball is in your court here for the content creators, for the streamers. You got to go out there. You got to get this one in for, for Xset. Got to clutch up. He's supposed to be our pro player, you know? He's mm -hmm. been a pro at raising money for charity, but can he be a pro at being the last surviving jelly bean? Ah, so, so difficult, okay? You know, it's just so difficult at the end of the day, but hey, God. You a jelly bean? God who has it. Yeah, hey, you know, yeah, to. Unless it's like a bean boozle, jelly beans these days are dangerous, okay? These manufacturers, they'll they'll get a nice little red jelly bean you think is cherry, okay? Do you like eating jelly but next beans? thing you know, it's it's fish guts. Ooh. What the hell? Okay? Ooh, do you like eating jelly beans? Uh, yeah, no, I do. Oh. You know, but you remember it was always that one um that one jelly bean, the dark one that always tastes like black licorice? Oh, there's always I hate the it. One. I hated the dark jelly bean. But we gotta find out who's the one who is going to survive here. Once again, we have Team Incognito in the blue jumpsuits, which means that Xset is going to be in orange. Let's go ahead and jump into Xset's team comms to see if our players are a little bit more chatty. Yeah, I'm blue right now. We got this, boys. We got this. I'm still blue Nation with it. Out here. I'm still blue, too. Damn, purple. They all are purple. <laughs> oh. Where are you guys at? I'm on yellow. Hey, yellow. I'm blue with it still. I'm hopping around oh. blue. I'm just chilling up here. Love that. I'm gonna just take my sweet time on these blocks. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Man, they're coming for me now. They're all three on me. They're all three blue, all three blue. We get it? Yo, baby, come on! I was chilling up here on blue. That's low key. If you can stay up top, just play. If you can stay up top, just play the just the the, the hopping game, hopscotch. Yeah, exactly. When you're the last one up, you can like take take your time. Take your time. Uh, take your time because you have a couple seconds. You can just like jump between blocks. Thanks. So it's all three of us versus him, huh? Yeah, literally. So we could. I think we just play safe because we have three chances of survival. Yeah, I mean, yeah. or like we just game. all three chase them. No. <laughs> if you look to fall down, if, if one guy's on the level with him, like try to stay as high as you can. But if you get on the same level as him, just chase him. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, but this is just one level. Ooh. Uh, I say I think maybe two of us chase him. One stays like away. Maybe low key. Okay. Oh, you I fell off. All good, all good, all good. I would play slow game. Yeah, 100%. Let's just play slow. Oh, oh. Yeah, one on one. We got this, we got this. We'll clutch up. Oh, they come back. I didn't know that. Good shit, good shit. Was the king at the end. 
sneaky, sneaky jelly bean finding that grab, finding that hold onto him to find that win. Mm -hmm. The clean 2 0 sweep, the clean shutout. Yes. From Team Incognito throughout the entire day. Oh my goodness. Congratulations and well done to Kurt. Yeah, yo, big shout out to Kurt, man. He got a dump for Incognito. Woo, of the 1v3 at the end, and, and you know, we were listening to the comms of XSAT, and they're like, oh, yo, we got this, yo, 3v1. Let's just cut them off, okay? Let's just chase them off the rip. Hey, bro, I fell. Okay, cool, slow game. Let's play it, no problem. But then they run it into each other, and then they get their space in, the next thing you know, it's, it, it, it's Kurt against the world, mm -hmm. okay? Kurt 1v1, and Kurt in the pocket. He hits his target. Mm -hmm. All right. Absolutely. Well, that's going to do it for me and I'm Lee on this series. I I'm, I'm curious to see how the winners are feeling. Let's toss it down to Rich. Yeah, I'm excited to hear everything too. Kurt is low key disgusting. And when we actually had the first interview with Kurt, okay, we already got Kurt here. Look, when we talked at the very first moment before we jumped into the game, you're like, yeah, not necessarily my games, but I, I think everything will be fine. You are a freak. You are so good. What, what happened? Walk me through the series. Appreciate it, man. Look, man, the lights just turned on and it was time to go to work. It just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm used to these situations in gaming and uh, back against the wall, man. Us, us versus the world. It was a nice little little sweep. Get the brooms out. Yeah, you know, uh, you, you, did, you did the work. But before uh, I asked you as well, I was like, do you think you're going to take that in-game leader role? We heard a little bit of team listen-ins, but were, were you kind of instructing everybody? Like, all right, this is what we got to do in Fall Guys. This is, this is the way we win. Yeah, Fall Guys definitely, because I don't think there's a lot of experience there. But uh, it was a whole team effort in, in Rocket League. I mean, that was just, that was they made it a little too easy on us. That's for sure. But Fall Guys, uh we almost lost it. That was really, really sketchy at the end, and uh, I don't know. They they fumbled the bag. I don't know how they. I don't know how they did it. Yeah, there there was that moment too in Rocket League as well, where I was like, all right, maybe we won't have a sweep situation, but your entire team stayed really focused. Was there a moment when it did feel like in both of those where it was like, all right, last game, is it, are we gonna actually drop it? Were you getting nervous, or how'd you guys yeah. stay focused? Uh, Rocket League, I, I felt like we were good, even though they had a few goals. Uh, I felt like the ball was always on the other side of the court, so like we didn't really have pressure on us. But that last game, I was like, oh god, we might have to go to, to game three and see what happens here. But we, we pulled it off. We pulled it off. Well, I, I'm gonna let you go, Kurt, because I, I just need to actually tabulate everything on the leaderboard. You just shook up the entire thing uh, going into this hey, one. Exit was what we're here actually, to do. yeah. I mean, look, Exit could have ended up in first place. You completely stopped that, Kurt. So congratulations. It was great getting to watch you and the whole team.